What the hell was that? I mean, that struck very well. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be playing at Dinosaur Mountain here at Gold Canyon. This is the beautiful Arizona. I am here for the winter, so I'm excited to get a bunch of YouTube videos in. Let's start it off. We're going to see how well I shoot on this front nine here at Dino. Not the greatest strike, but that'll work. Alright, just about 105 yards out here. Wind is just slightly behind us. So I think it's gonna play about 100 yards here. Using my 54 degree, bit of a sawed off shot. Needs to turn in just a bit for me. All right, not terrible. Not fantastic, but not terrible. All right, well, that ended up being quite a bit closer than I thought it was gonna be. Now it's looking like a bit of a right to left breaker, kind of into the grain here. See if we can bury a bird, baby. Get there. Ah, not enough steam. Oh, it's still going. Some bird doo-doo there. All right, not a bad start. Par is always a good way to start around. All right, second hole here, par three, 170 yards using my seven iron. This green is so small. I mean, it's like a postage stamp, but uh, just gonna aim for the center of the green, hopefully put it on there and get away with the par. I mean, that's struck very well. Hopefully it's the club. Oh yeah. Pin high, just right center, right side of the green. I'll take that 10 times out of 10, baby. All right, bit of a tricky putt here. Pretty snapping right to left break and the green's going to the left. So I'm gonna take this out pretty far right and kind of just have to gently drop it in the cup. Not an easy birdie putt, but let's see what we can do. Honestly, just trying to get it close to the cup. All right. Definitely gave it too much credit, but uh, good light putt. Happy with the par. Off to the next. All right, a par five here. Here's my driver. This is going to be the make or break, I think, of my day is how well I'm driving the ball because this thing has been off and on. It's, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this as well, but Desert Golf is absolutely gorgeous. All right, well, I haven't played this course before, as I said, but I think the line is just over the right side of this cactus, the furthest right cactus. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully I'm right about that. Well, not the greatest strike, but uh, definitely a great result. Caught the slope pretty good there, kicked left. All right, so 230 yards basically to the front of the green, but the wind is probably pushing about 10 yards behind me, back to front, so I'm gonna use a four iron. I don't know if I'm gonna get there with my four iron. Three wood's a little bit too long for this, and it's a bit narrow up there, so I'm gonna use my four. If I get lucky, it's at the front of the green, and if it's short, that's all right. I think this guy's playing three balls ahead of me here. That is not good, I pulled it. All right, well, I'll take a drop shot. I am definitely not going in there because there are snakes. So about 60 yards out, 58 degree. Wind is a bit behind me again, so I'm just gonna try to pop this one up and land it soft. I think that's a bit deep. We'll go find out. Okay, well, this definitely went deeper than I was hoping. And the pin was actually at the back of the green. I thought it was at the front. So we have to chip and get this one close. So we can just tap it in for a bogey after the drop shot. I feel like this is going towards you guys on the camera downhill. So I have to be pretty delicate here. And it's a downhill slope. These are never easy. Always afraid of hitting it thin. And that is not bad. I will take that. A little tap in bogue. Off with a bogue. One over through three. Hopefully, we can get a stroke back. Par four, 450 yards, but it is downhill. Gorgeous hole. Once again, not my first time saying that, and not gonna be my last. So forgive me, but this is gorgeous. 
Uh, using my driver, I'm gonna try to get it where that cart is right now. Play a bit of a fade over that bushy tree in the center of the fairway and see what we can do. Hopefully it goes where I want. And I think that went exactly where I wanted, which is nice because that doesn't happen very often. Okay, well this was not exactly where I was anticipating going and not this short either. I ended up getting a foot of six inches of backspin on my drive there. So that was a pretty spinny one. Blind shot in the green here now, just going over this bushy tree using a six iron about 182 yards out. Well, it was right at it, but just a little bit long, just off the back rough. All right, well, caught a bit of a flyer there in my six iron. Maybe I should have used a seven or just laid off the six a bit more. But anyways, that's in the past. This is the present, 58 degree in my hand. I'm gonna try to flop it a little bit, land it soft. It is kind of going a little bit to my right and it looks like it's maybe downhill a bit. So let's see what we can do. Get in the hole, get in, oh. Well, that ran out a lot more than I was expecting, but not a terrible chip. Now we have about a five footer here for par. Yep. Gave it a nice pace, walk away with the par. All right, well, I don't know if a par three gets much prettier than this. 217 playing 183 went into us. So I'm gonna play it as about a 200. All right, a little bit of a right to left break. See if I can put this one tight. Settle, settle. Oh man, these are rolling. Not a terrible chip, but definitely not great. Nope, dead straight. Well, off with the bogey, plus two through five. Okay, hole six, about 435 yard, dog leg right a bit. The line is kind of over that bunker. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the camera, but the wind is a little bit behind us, I think. So I'm just gonna kind of take that line and see what happens. Oh my goodness. Where did I just go? I think I almost missed that ball that was so bad. All right, well, I take a drop shot here, playing lateral hazards, using a three iron from 235 out. All right, not too bad of a shot. Lying three, going for par here. A little bit uphill, so I think as long as I chip this one like I have been recently, it should be good and won't pull out as much, so. Hopefully I can play it close. Here's my 58 degree. Spin hard for me. No, it did not. Oh boy. I gotta work on this chipping. This has not been good. I'm just expecting the, the ball to kind of check up and this is not. So regardless if it's uphill or downhill, I'm gonna play it much softer next time. All right, well, let's see if we can get lucky with a bogey putt here. We need this to drop, honestly. Nope. Ah, uh, doubles are never good for the scorecard, but need a short-term memory out here. All right, hole seven, 420 yards. My driver isn't feeling too hot, so I'm gonna use my three wood. Pretty much straight away, a little bit of a left pin. Try to put this one in the fairway, give myself a good look into the green. Not as far as I was hoping, but not too bad. I'm in the fairway. 200 yards out to the pin, using my five iron. Let's see if I can put this on the dance floor. Oh man, I faded it a little bit. That would have been perfect. Just a little bit left. Not too bad, struck it well though. All right, pretty much pin high, just a little bit left. But now we have a bit of a left or right breaker here for birdie. 
I'm just looking for a lag putt at this point. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Sit. Oh boy. Tester. People like to keep the pin in. I like to take it out just because sometimes the pin is tilted and it skews with me reading the green. I already have a tough enough time reading those greens, let alone having a crooked stick in there giving me an optical illusion. I think this is a right to left breaker. Maybe out by a cup, firm putt. Yeah, nice par. Oh, nice to bury those. Those are not fun to miss. All right, still plus four through seven now, so two holes left. Okay, par three, eighth hole, 167, 169 yards. Wind is just barely behind me, so I'm gonna use my eight iron here. See if we can put this on the dance floor. And I chunked it a bit. But I think it might be the right club. Oh, no, pretty damn short. Yeah, I hit that a little bit thick, unfortunately, but it's okay. Our chipping is amazing today, so. Uh, our chipping is not good. But we can try to put this one close. I think I've learned from my past chips that I need to just chill a bit and not hit it as hard. So hopefully we can put this one close for par. Just off the front here, using my 58 degree again, hopefully land this one soft this time. I'm gonna try to just land it right in the fringe and let it hop up a couple times and roll out. Right beside the cup or in it. Just like that. I am never mad at a tap in par, I tell you that much. Especially on a par three. Off to the next, last hole coming up. Okay, last hole, par five, 500 and something yards. I know a hole or two ago I said my driver is not feeling well, but I mean, this thing is wide open. Not to say I'm gonna hit the fairway, but it's very inviting this time. So I have a little more confidence over the ball. I'll take it. All right, I'm about 260 into to the pin, into the wind, and there's water on the right. So I'm gonna play this one conservatively and hit it about 160 yards, which will leave myself about 100 yards into the pin. Uh, I just think this is much smarter. Gives myself a better look at par. Perfect shot. All right, 113 yards to the pin, into the wind though. Using my 50 degree. I don't want to be long here. 50 degree goes about 115, so five yards short of the pin is ideal. What the hell was that? I just shanked it. Well, thankfully it was short of the bunker. Oh my God, that was a horrible shot. That may have been one of my worst shots of the day. The conservative par has now turned into a struggle to get a par, so I need to make a great chip here. I'm at 58 degree. Hit this one up high and let it land softly is the plan. Nope, that's gotta go. Oh my God, it did. Oh, that was close. All right, I have about a seven, eight footer here for par. The only way to get it closer than I did is just to hit it higher. I mean, I landed six inches just over the bunker and it still rolled out pretty far. So can't be too disappointed in the result. And it's about a 10 footer, shit. No. Oh, that was a good putt. Just ripped the edge there. Okay, a bogey plus five for an even 40. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and watch the other ones. Stay tuned. I'm going to be posting a lot of YouTube videos in the next five months while I'm here in Arizona. So thanks for following. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.